Welcome back to MLB Apologetics. If you missed last week's game between Team Muslim and Pointless Thorns, well, you missed a good one. Here's a highlight clip from that game. Muslim Kuji's first pitch to Pointless Thorns. Well, according to this verse, you can't even get to the Father except uh, going through Jesus. Well, if you can't get to the Father, but the Father needs to enable you to get to Jesus, it makes no sense. That's a contradiction easily refuted. Hello, follower of Muhammad. John 6, 65 is actually not a contradiction at all to John 14, 6. In fact, John 6, 65 explains John 14, 6 when Jesus said, No one can come to him unless it has been granted him from the Father. And so what you see between these two scriptures is an invitation to the wedding from the King himself. The Father sent the Son, which is the Father granting you access to the Son, but just just as John 14, 6 explains, no one has access to the Father's kingdom unless it is through the Son. Thus, this invitation gives you clear directions on how to get to the kingdom and be a part of the wedding. It is a straight path with a narrow entrance. And this is why when Peter confessed Jesus as the Christ, the Son of the living God, in Matthew 16, 16, Jesus responded in the very next verse by saying, Blessed are you, Simon Barjona, because flesh and blood did not reveal this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. And so here you clearly see that the Father granted Peter access to the Son, and it is only through the Son that Peter would ever enter the kingdom. So truly, all you ever did was really reveal the fact that you don't understand the Trinity and that God is one. It would be better for you to ask clarifying questions rather than to state unsupported claims. Now the irony here is that you inadvertently provided the explanation rather than the contradiction. So by your words, you actually refuted your own claim. Uh, that's kind of like your words coming back to hit you. Ouch. And Pointless, oh, right in the head, his words came back to hit him. And all of his Muslim friends are now gathering around him trying to pray in the name of Allah. It doesn't look good, folks. And well, as you might guess, Pointless Thorns went on to win that game. Tune in next week to see another exciting game.